You're watching Colorado in the Wild. Brought to you by Daily Real Estate, your home and ranch specialist. Full Rut Archery. Tightline Outdoors with Nathan Zelensky. And by Rocky Mountain Roosters, Colorado's finest private pheasant hunting preserve. Well, folks, welcome to show. I'm Milton Daly, and hey, if you like quail hunting, we're right here in Colorado with Rocky Mountain Roosters with three guys, and we're going to shoot some quail. Then later in the show, we're going to be doing a, a bull elk hunt. So stay tuned. Hey, what, what do you say first? Let's go kill some quail. Whoa. Uh, I don't have another shell in. <laughs> that was fun. We got a couple of them. Watch. Heads up. You know, for some of you that's never watched bird hunting, what he has is they got a they got a couple of pointers. They go out there and, and point them out. And something unusual, they're using a little jack terrier as a flusher. And notice the commands he gives them. You hear him? I mean, he, he tells them dogs to point, they'll point, and they'll hold till, that, till all the hunters yep. get in line, and so will the little Jack Russell, until the guide gives them the command to go in and flush the birds. What a way. If you've never done this kind of bird hunting, you've got to come out and check out Rocky Mountain Roosters right here near Calhan, Kiowa, east of, oh, east of uh, Colorado Springs. It's a great time. You know, this is what I was talking about. The guide gives the pointers of the hole sign, and then the little Jack Russell, uh, he holds him up till all the hunters get in position. Then he calls the uh, Jack Russell's name and he goes and flushes the bird out for him. Good one. Is that you, Tim? Point. She'll hold her point while these guys get back. Emmy, here. Ah, uh, <laughs> the Jack. Jack retrieved it. <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> Another one. Amy. They're wanting to get up and fly behind us there, boys. She knows her job. She knows exactly why she's here. Him. Get him. Get him in. Get him in. There you go. Good one. Get there Another one right in front of you. Right in front of you. That's all right, bud. You deserve it after yesterday. Come on in. Jack, here. Jack, here. Nuggets 
silly bird. Come here, Jack. Jack. Good boy, Jack. Come here. Alright guys, let's walk up these three guys and we'll drop down again. Go down below. Yep. Well, Rocky Mountain Roosters has been around since 1985. Started it when I got out of college and, and we've got 5,000 acres here, strictly for upland bird hunting. We got pheasants, chucker, and quail. And uh, so it's a, a public-private facility. We have memberships available, but we allow people to come out one time a year. Uh, so they can experience upland bird hunting in Colorado without having to drive to Kansas or South Dakota to get into good shooting. So, you know, we're about an hour south of Denver, half hour east of Colorado Springs. So it gives people a chance to get into a lot of shooting without having to drive a long ways to do it. So it's, it's a great facility, especially if you want to bring young hunters, maybe new hunters have never had an opportunity to shoot a bird, and this is a good way to do it. We provide dogs and guides for a small fee, or you can bring your own dogs. Yeah, we've got everything that you need. We've got guns that you can rent uh, for the day. We've got a really nice uh, facility where you can shoot some clay targets before you, before you go out and, and uh, get into the, the upland, the winged birds. You know, we'll shoot some clay targets before you go out, especially if you want to do that. We built this in 94, and um, this it's a 6,000 square foot facility. It's just, you know, it's old home week for us. We come in and, and all of these, uh, these, the wood and everything was, we cut down the trees and, and uh, cut the, lo the logs and stuff ourselves and made the, made the boards. But we have a lot of people that will come out and have a meeting in the morning and then go shoot birds in the afternoon. Or the whole idea, may, they may come and entertain where they're gonna bring you know, 40, 80 people and have a meeting and then we'll split up and go hunting. We've, we've got a, um, we can handle about 120 people a day and that would be um, guided in the whole bit, whether we, you know, serving them meals and, and then go shoot birds or whatever. Folks, we'll be right back with more bird hunting right after the break. He's got it right there. Folks, if you're looking for a home, I have every home that's available for sale in Douglas County, like the six bedroom, five bath, two story home just off Crowfoot. Folks, it's ready to sell. Or how about this 682 acres? It actually touches the Castlewood Canyon State Park. Now, if you're looking for a hunting property, I have a rare find, an in-holding in the Gunnison National Forest. It's 80 acres, it's a hunting paradise with a state-of-the-art solar system. Folks, if you're looking to sell your home, give us a call right here at Daily Real Estate. I handle all transactions myself. I don't slough it off to an assistant. Uh, you'll see me throughout the, the, uh, the process from, from start to finish. We show up to closings. We do it all right here, and I'll be there personally myself. Um, we also can do everything that any agency, big agency, the big box stores is what I call them, we can do it all, but with a special touch because we own the company. We can put it on the MLS, we can do the, uh, the Zillow, the, the Trillia, we put it on all the websites necessary to sell your home. And uh, we take it one step further that no other agency can do in the state of Colorado. We put it on television. Um, and that's, hey, that's a no charge. It's a free thing that we offer. Also, to start, we bring a professional carpet cleaner in and clean your carpets as soon as we list your, your property. And we have extreme steamers do that. So if you're looking to list your property, give us a call. Now, folks, if you just joined us, we're right here in Colorado hunting at Rocky Mountain Roosters for quail hunting. Like she wants to point. Emmy! Get him, Emmy! Oh. <laughs> 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 you Go 
Those shots ought to be just about perfect for that. <laughs> We got birds calling all over the place. Yeah, I hear. That's awesome. Okay, Ann. Why are we seeing <laughs> Good shot. Thanks. 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 That's what happens when you're not paying attention. Now folks, after the break, we're gonna come back and do an elk hunt, and then there'll be more bird hunting right here in Colorado. We're gonna walk you through what it takes to be a beginner ice fisherman, all the way to some tips for even the expert ice angler on how to do well in tournament fishing, especially the ice addiction tournament series. So we're gonna get out there, drill some holes, really walk you through the whole event. And again, a few tips are gonna help you out to, to be more successful on the day, uh, day out there on the ice. So what we do is basically, we'll pre-drill the holes the morning of the event. We do it the morning of the event, that way they're not frozen up um, and we'll drill at least 20% extra so you know if we have 500 people we'll drill 600 700 holes that way you have room to move around you can jump around but more importantly you can pick that own hole so how it works is basically when we get out there and start registration or check-in opens at 5 a.m. the event doesn't start till 8 a.m. so if you know that you have a particular spot you want to fish get there early you know again you can go through check-in at 5 a.m. go out there pick your hole set up you can't drop a line yet but you know you can set your stuff by it then the nice thing about it is you feel free to go to our warming house again our Mr. Heater hot spot tent set up right in the middle of the event we have free coffee free Johnson's Corner cinnamon rolls and free hand warmers at that tent so I haven't started this auger yet I'm gonna hold down that throttle give it a pull we'll see if she fires up like that every time I don't care if it's brand new been sitting in your shed for six months with a jiffy propane like that one pull is always gonna fire that up we'll drill ourselves a hole Right there, I'll tell you what, this auger makes easy work of any ice out there, whether it's seven inches like this or four feet. I'll tell you what, we're gonna take that drill in our vent like we said, and we pre-drill the holes. We typically start drilling right around 3 a.m. to make sure that all our holes are cut by the, by the 5 a.m. check-in point to where if we do have people want to check in right at that five to go pick those holes, they can do that. All right, guys, you know, as far as, let's say you're coming to this event for the first time, what do you need to bring? I'll tell you what, you can bring nothing or you can bring all your gear out there. The only step the only rules that we have at Ice Addiction that kind of you know supersede state law, you can bring a shelter with you, but we don't allow you to set it up. So we want everybody fishing out in the open. So whether you bring a bucket to sit on, you bring you know a sled like this, and you just use a seat. We don't allow the shelters in the event, but as long as you bring a seat, you'll be pretty good. You know, you bring a rod with you. Now we also suggest having some sort of heater with you. Again, it can be cold. We don't have shelters out there. We always suggest the Mr. Heater brand heaters, absolutely the best heaters on the market. They also sponsor our hot spot tents. So again, we have a large tent set up in the middle of the area, all powered by Mr. Heater. That tent's probably 70, 80 degrees, so it's a great place to warm up, but you'll see this style heater in that warming tent out there. If you really want to have the extreme chances, we suggest electronics. Again, this might be something that you're not into, might be something that you might be interested in. Vexlar is, again, our flasher graph sponsor of the event. Again, it's an ice fishing electronics, absolutely phenomenal electronics. It's a flasher graph. Um, a flasher graph like this, can definitely help you out and increase your odds at the end of the day at one of these events. A place like Boyd, you're gonna have opportunity at rainbow trout, crappie, perch, walleye, catfish. It's really a wide variety of species. Um, so a lot of times I might start for walleye early in the morning and then move into trout. Trout was the most you know, prevalent fish caught there. So trout, my favorite jig out there, is an eagle claw paddle bug. Absolutely a dynamite little jig. You could tip that with a, a wax worm. You could tip it with a minnow head. You could tip it with a minnow. But a little wax worm on that bait would be absolutely phenomenal, but you don't have to. You can run it just as it is. The biggest thing that we do is when we go down here, I typically am going to start off real low in the water column. So I'm going to start off maybe just off bottom. So I'll drop it down here. I'm just off bottom. So a lot of times I'll hit bottom and I'll lift that jig up. A lot of times what you're going for is crisp, clean movement. So 
little snaps like that. You see a lot of guys that are doing this at these events. They're really working that jig hard. And I'll tell you what, the biggest thing you can do as an angler, open water or ice, is cater to your fish. You want to, you'll again, do everything you can to make it easy on them to take a meal. So what I do is I typically will do these nice, crisp little snaps. You know, I might be working a six, eight inch window there and then I'll slow it down, which that slow down again gives the fish a chance to take the bait. I'll tell you what, we give out a lot of prizes, and even if you don't catch a fish, you still get free coffee, free sit-in rolls, free hand warmers, and we do giveaways every two and a half minutes. Every event, we give out $3,000 in either cash and prizes in giveaways. I will say, if you come as a youth, if you're a young child coming to this or youth outdoors, we will make sure you go home with a prize. It might be a handout, it might be a pack of jigs, but again, we'll make sure every kid goes home with something at these events. So folks, if you just joined us, we've been bird hunting at Rocky Mountain Roosters right here in Colorado. But right now, let's go with Keith as he tracks down a bull elk.
<laughs> Folks, we'll be right back with more bird hunting right after the break. He's got it right there. All these are the Chevys and the GMCs. These are half ton uh, extended cab, crew right. cab trucks, 5.3 liter V8s. Great gas mileage, great power. Everybody that's looking for one of them ought to look at one of these. And here's one of those ones, Milty, I was telling you about the 20% off. I mean, saving $9,974, which is absolutely wonderful. And you know, on something like this. You know what I like about you guys too is, you, is that you don't have to come up here and, and hassle with you. Oh gosh, you got the price right off. Cause you're good old country folks. You know why? Why go through that battle? People hate that. If you can give them the best price up front, and we have the Hudson guarantee. If we can't meet or beat any deal, we'll pay you a thousand dollars. That's how confident we are. And if you look over here, we got all the Colorados and Canyons. That's the new smaller version of the Chevy and the GMC pickup. Brand new for this year, 2015s and 16s. Wow. Great power, they come in a diesel now. We don't have one yet, but when they do, I'll probably get one. Okay. Come in a long bed, short bed, extended cab, or a crew cab like this one here. They're beauties. Wow. Give us the opportunity to show you what we can do. You know, I promise you the drive will be well worth it. We definitely take care of our customers up here and I mean, this is what you get. It's absolutely wonderful. So folks, if you just joined us, we're right here in Colorado hunting at Rocky Mountain Roosters for quail hunting. Get him. Quicker than a Peyton Manning football release was. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. That was crazy. Y'all seen that show caught on film? Yeah. <laughs> well, this one here was caught on film. <laughs> I don't doubt that. <laughs> nice shot, Tim. Yeah, you know, I've I've never bird hunted, I've never bird hunted with a Jack Russell before, and like I was telling Richie, I said, you know, the, this little Jack Russell in there, once those dogs point, he gets there and roots those birds out from tough places, without him having to step out there in front of the guns and the hunters, it's a heck of a program. Smart dog, a very smart dog, and she's a good retriever too. She finds those dead birds and brings them back. Yeah. 
There we go. Big birds. Got some to roast tonight. Guys, bigger birds, that's all. Yeah, we got some to roast. <laughs> I oh, this is beautiful, beautiful scenery and wide open, lots of room to roam, lots of room to really chase birds around. So once you get a covey or get some birds up, you got a lot of room to chase them. Colorado in the Wild has been brought to you by Daily Real Estate, your home and ranch specialist, Full Rut Archery, Tightline Outdoors with Nathan Zelensky. And by Rocky Mountain Roosters, Colorado's finest private pheasant hunting preserve.